nothing sticks to Teflon. Well, this base is Teflon. As you can see, we have bonded metal, rubber, wood, and Teflon to this Teflon base. It is very important to note that each of these connections are a bond, not a glue joint. Bonds are stronger and more durable than glue joints. How did we do this? How do we do the impossible? Actually, very easily, as long as you use the bonding poly process, which is patent pending. All repairs made with the Tech Bond molecular bonding system and the bonding poly process are impervious to oil, water, gas, and most other chemicals. You can visit our website at tbbonding.com for a list of the chemicals that will eat through the Tech Bond repair, and you will notice it is a very short list. We are going to show you how to bond anything to Teflon. We will bond Teflon, metal, rubber, and wood to Teflon just as we showed you here. To do this, we will use the basic poly kit, which includes a structural adhesive, usually our SI Blue, our activator accelerator. This helps to generate a chemical reaction necessary to get a bond. Our poly prep, this is a surface primer and an adhesion promoter for polyplastics and other polymers, as well as a step-by-step -step instruction sheet that makes it simple to achieve the results that you need to make a repair or accomplish a task. For our first example, we'll do Teflon to Teflon. Before starting, make sure all surfaces are clean. When working with virgin polymers, in this case Teflon, you need to rough the surface that needs to be bonded or repaired. Then, saturate the surface of both Teflon pieces with the poly prep. and be sure to let that dry. Our poly prep dries the oil on the poly surface and etches that surface. Our poly prep is solvent based, so it dries quickly. It is critical to then spray on one surface, the activator accelerator. In this case, we're going to spray the activator accelerator on the Teflon base. Again, make sure you let that dry completely before moving on. After that dries, heat the Teflon surfaces with a heat gun or a hair dryer until the surfaces are warm to the touch. Apply a thin layer of SI Blue, our standard viscosity structural adhesive, to the smaller Teflon piece. It's important to make sure you are applying your structural adhesive to the opposite surface that you just applied your activator accelerator. And you can use the nozzle as a paintbrush to make sure you're getting an even thin coat. Now align the Teflon to the Teflon base and press firmly for 10 to 20 seconds. Using the hairdryer heat gun again, heat the seam for 10 to 20 seconds. And now our Teflon piece is bonded to our Teflon base. Next example, we are going to bond both metal and rubber to our Teflon base. Before starting, make sure all surfaces are clean. In this case, to get maximum strength, both the metal and the Teflon need to be roughed prior to bonding. Then 
then saturate the Teflon with the poly prep. Again, let this dry. As I said before, the poly prep will dry the oil on the poly surface and etch the surface. It is solvent based, so it will dry quickly. It's critical to then spray on the surface of our Teflon base, our activator accelerator. And let that dry as well. Next, with our heat gun or our hair dryer, we will heat our Teflon base until it is warm to touch. Next, apply a thin layer of the SI Blue to both the metal and the rubber. Using the nozzle as a paintbrush to make sure you get a good, thin, even coat. Place them on the Teflon piece and press firmly for 10 to 20 seconds. Heat those seams again with the hair dryer or the heat gun for 10 to 20 more seconds. And there you have it. Your metal and your rubber are bonded to your Teflon. Now we're going to bond our wood piece to our Teflon base. Before starting, again, please make sure all surfaces are clean. First, rough the surface of the Teflon base. And then saturate the surface with the poly prep. letting it dry completely. Now we can take our activator accelerator and spray it on our Teflon base. And let that dry completely as well. Once that is dried, we can use our heat gun or our hair dryer to warm the surface Okay. Now we will apply our SI blue to the bottom surface of our wood. Again, using our nozzle as a paintbrush to help us get a good, thin, even coat. Align the two pieces and press firmly for 10 to 20 seconds. Okay, and we're finished. As you can see, you cannot pull the Teflon from the Teflon base. You cannot pull the metal or the rubber, no matter how hard I try, <laughs> from the Teflon base. And you can't pull the wood from the Teflon base. There you have it. The video you have just watched 
was shot in June of 2017. We have used this masterpiece as a demo item at a number of trade shows throughout the past year. We asked people, usually the biggest person in the audience, to try and break off any part from the Teflon base. Finally, there was a break. As you can see, it was not the bond between the wood and the Teflon that broke. After a lot of pressure, one large individual actually split the wood, proving bonds formed with the bonding poly process are often stronger than substrates. One final note on the process, after almost 18 months and hundreds of polys bonded, no one has reported a failure. Yes, your repair will be that easy. You may be asking yourself, how does it work so easily? And why does it work so well? The short answer, chemistry. When used properly, our activator accelerator actually intensifies the chemical reaction that occurs when used with one of our SI structural adhesives. That stronger chemical reaction means a stronger bond, a more durable bond, a bond that is easily executed, and an all-around better repair. In addition to the one-two fixed instructional videos on how to complete your repairs, you can also find a step-by-step -step instruction guide that coincides with each video. We understand that you may still be skeptical, hence our guarantees. You can purchase any of our items individually, or to save money, you can choose one of our kits. Kits will save you 15% over the individual pricing. Just visit the shopping cart at www.tbbonding.com or give us a call at 1-877-565-7225. Happy repairing!